Okay, in this section, we are going to check out the uh, we're going to check out the three goal ratio for obtuse angle. So in fact, two you learn the three goal ratio for the acute angle. So in fact, two right, these are the ratio. So O over H is the ratio, A over H is the ratio, and tangent is O over A is the ratio. So last year you learned this ratio and you already recap. How do you use this ratio? So this is the ratio for the acute angle. So this is the ratio for the obtuse uh, acute angle as well. So this is the ratio for uh, the acute angle for tangent. Okay, so now we're gonna explore the trigger ratio for obtuse angle. So the 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 two trigger ratio are obviously related. So why are they related, right? Because acute angle and the obtuse angle, they actually lie on the same straight line, okay? So obtuse angle, so if you look at the definition, obtuse angle are angles that are more than 90, but less than 180. And then acute angle are in the first quadrant and obtuse angle are in the second quadrant. So you may be wondering where are the quadrants? Okay, so in your EMAF syllabus, we will cover the first and second quadrant. In the AMAF syllabus, we will cover first, second, third, fourth quadrant. So I'm going to go through in such a way that for those who are taking AMAF, the logic or the explanation will be the same. So we will start off with, uh, so as the name quadrant is like a one, one quarter of a circle. So this is a zero degree line. This is a 90 degree line. So you can see it as a house. So the first quadrant will house the acute angle. So all the people staying here are the acute angle. So it will actually look something like this. So this is the acute angle. So it's more than zero and less than 90. Okay, then the second quadrant will house the obtuse angle. So the uh, obtuse angle will be from 90 to 180. So if you can look, so essentially they are, they are on a straight line. So this one is the obtuse angle. Okay, uh, but typically we will usually draw it in this way. Okay, so you will imagine, um, you imagine okay, this, this line is going to swing until here. So it's actually going to swing until here. So that will become an obtuse angle. So that is obtuse angle. But usually we try to put it side by side so that you can see that they are actually related. Okay, so the obtuse angle by right should look like this. So this whole angle is the obtuse angle. Okay, so that is, so when you go to AMF, right, you will learn how it swing uh, beyond the second quadrant. Okay, so right now don't have. Okay, so right now we are, I'm just going to put them side by side. So for easier reference. So this one is the obtuse angle. Okay, so they are on the same straight line. That means obtuse angle and acute angle, they will add up to 180 degrees. So that is the relationship between the two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna get you all to try. So you can try, you can take uh, any pair of acute angle or obtuse angle. So let's say I will choose, okay, I would like my acute angle to be a 40 degree. So if my acute angle is 40 degree, my obtuse angle will be 140 degree. Okay, so I'm gonna press sine 40. I'm gonna create a table. So I'm gonna press sine 40. So press it on the calculator. What do you get when you press sine 40? and you press sine 140, you realize that you got the same values. 
you will realize that you got the same values. And if you got the same values, right, that means the trigo ratio for the acute angle is also the trigo ratio for the obtuse angle. That means, right, okay, if x is obtuse, my sine x will also be O over H. It will still be the same ratio because I got the same decimal. Okay, so I'm going to try pressing a uh, cosine. You try pressing cosine, you'll get 0 0.766. Cosine 40 will give you 0 0.766. Okay, then if you press cosine 140, you realize that it will give you negative 0 0.766. So it is a negative ratio. So it is a negative ratio. That means, right, if x is obtuse, you actually get a negative a over h instead of a positive a over h. Okay, then you can try the tangent. Okay, you press the tangent for b, you get 0 0.839. If you press the tangent 1, 140, you will get the same value except that it comes with a negative. So it actually means that tangent x will be a negative ratio, negative O over A. So typically, we'll be using this chunk of formula. So we'll be using this chunk of formula to help us with um, the question that deals with obtuse angle ratio. OK, and then uh, Okay, so I'm going to show you an example, and then after that, there will still be more examples to follow up. Okay, so this question here will be repeated again in AMF Trigo. So we need to express the following in terms of ratio of acute angle. So ratio of acute angle. So we will need their corresponding acute angle. So we need to express them as a uh, ratio of acute angle first. And then we'll find their values. Okay, so okay, we must get always get the corresponding uh, acute angle. So if you want to, you can kind of visualize. So you just draw. So imagine this is a one four zero. Okay, the acute angle will be thirty four. So just now we already explored a relationship between the the sign of acute angle and the sign of obtuse angle, you realize that they are supposed to be the same value, meaning they are the same ratio. Sign acute is equal to sign obtuse. That means, right, it's equal to sign 34. So this is called the trigo ratio of acute angle. So they want us to express it in terms of the acute angle, then we punch it up. So you might find that, why, why do they want to do that? Can't I just punch it up? Yes, you can punch it up, but they want an extra step. They want you to link it to the acute angle. In AMF, when you explore the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant, you are doing the same thing. So this acute angle play an important role. So there's always a relationship with an acute angle. So the next one is 169. So we're going to explore who is the acute angle for 169. So you can just draw an acute angle for 169, an obtuse angle. And because they are on a straight line, 180 minus 169 will be 11. Okay. And just now we explore the ratio that there is a relationship. They are not exactly the same, but it's actually the negative of the acute angle. So they are not exactly the same, but they are the negative of the acute angle. So then you go and punch it up. Okay, so basically if you look, right, uh, only for cosine and tangent of Obtuse angle, you it will come with negative. Okay, so the next one, same thing. They find the neighbor. I always call that 
the acute neighbor. So if I got a one, three, four, who is the neighbor? So one, three, four, the neighbor will be 46. Okay, this neighbor will play an important role to help you to get ratio from triangle later on. So we realize that for tangent, they are also negative of each other. So I'm going to, the miss is a negative tangent 46 degree. Then I go and punch it out. So you might be thinking, most people will be thinking the express, the, the sine 34, the cosine 11, the tangent 46 are totally useless. So in a way, I don't need that. I can just press directly. I also can get the answer. But we would like to see the relationship. So in this case, the cosine of two single. So you think of it this way, cosine of two is the negative of cosine acute. Tangent of twos is negative tangent acute angle. So only sine acute, uh, only for uh, sine, sine obtuse will be equal to sine acute. That's why there's a relationship that I, that I uh, wrote here. Okay, and I will be using this formula I think I should change the color. So I will be using this formula later on. This yellow box here. So this is the this yellow box is the trigo ratio for the obtuse angle. Okay, the original one was here. So the one that you learned in sec two was here. Okay. So the uh we will be using the so in a summary in a nutshell, uh the yellow box will be the ratio for the obtuse angle. So the ratio is very much related to the ratio for the acute angle by this part. Okay, you if you want you can choose more another pair of acute and obtuse angle. You will find that the same relationship will fit. You can choose a fifty degree versus hundred and thirty degree. You try, okay. So they are they are related because obtuse angle and acute angle will add up to 180. So in the same way, later on when you go to AMF, uh, all the other angles are also uh, related to the acute angle. Okay, so there are subsequently more examples to reinforce this, this idea, the relationship and this idea.